Rage on that beat, going crazy. Hi, I'm here with my sister and two of my friends. We like to order pizza. Uh, we're very hungry. You know it's Thanksgiving. You don't have to eat here. You could stay at home. Mind your business. Mind your business. If you don't start nothing, there won't be nothing. I'm here for my pizza, okay? I want pizza on Thanksgiving. May we dine in tonight? Sure. Just help yourself to the buffet. Thanks for eating at Pizza Hut. I'd like a sub sandwich if you don't mind. I'd like to order a fresh pizza. I don't really want leftovers. We'll see. We have lots of orders that are coming through for takeout and delivery. So I'm not sure about that. Sorry. The buffet is there for you. Well, um, okay. I'm going to be nice to you today since it's a holiday. But next time I request something. Thank you, guys. Enjoy your meal. Thanks for dining in at Pizza Hut. Yeah, your table doesn't seem like it's large enough for our group. Yes, we have more chairs in the back. Oh, that sounds great. Thanks. Just bring them out if you have some time to. Yeah, so where's Rachel? Is she doing something with the bird? She's kind of slow. What is she doing out there? And uh, where's your boyfriend? Is he on his way? I'm waiting for mine. Rachel is probably trying to figure out where to put the bird or how to sneak the bird in. Don't worry about Rachel. She can fend for herself. And I have no clue where my boyfriend is. He is always late. Oh my gosh, who eats a pizza head on Thanksgiving? I don't know. This is so strange. Do they go to your school? I think they do. They look familiar. Uh, yeah, like the one with the braids. I think she has a sister that's so strange. The other two seem normal. Are they really normal, though? They're here on Thanksgiving. Wow, I just wouldn't do it. I would stay at home. Well, I'm not really a fan of my family, so I kind of get it. Yeah, I kind of like being here at work. I volunteered to work today. Well, I need the cash. I don't. My family's rich. But yeah, I like working. <sighs> I wish I were rich. Hello, you guys. My name is Rachel. I'm here with my emotional support bird, Birdman, and I'm going to dine in with my friends. Excuse me. All right, I was in the car cleaning his cage out, and now I'm ready to sit down. Excuse me, where are the chairs? I need a chair. We are not able to allow you to stay here with this bird. Whatever do you mean? It's my emotional support bird. And I have a legal right to have him here. So please find me a seat, a chair. You have extra chairs somewhere in a storage room. But um, yes, I'm ready to eat my food. And the bird is here to call me so I won't spaz out. Um, Yes, I need that chair right now. So... Yeah, I'm ready to eat and enjoy my Thanksgiving dining experience. I'm sorry, ma'am. We are not permitted under the health code to allow live animals in the restaurant. He's not just a live animal. He's an emotional support bird. It is something that I need. Um, it's a medical condition that I have. I have anxiety and quite a few things I wish not to discuss. I understand that I'm sorry, but it's against the health code violation to have birds or any animals in the restaurant. Will you be able to leave him in the car right now or take him home? No, we are connected spiritually, and if I leave him alone, he might die or kill himself. I know that sounds bad to say, 
Are you serious? You're joking. That's not a thing. There's no such thing as that. I am not kidding. Why would I lie about this? This is my life. This is my best friend. His name is Birdman, and he is very connected to me and my soul and my spirit, and I am to his. So I am offended that you are questioning that bond that we have together and that we share and hold as soulmates. Please let me just have a chair and I'll eat my pizza and leave. Here's your sandwich, your turkey sub that you requested earlier. Okay, ma'am, you have to go with the bird. Please. I'm not going anywhere with this bird. This bird is my life. Well, you have to take you and your life and your bird and leave. Please. I have to call the police if you don't go. You have to take the bird. I said that I'm not leaving and I'm not leaving. I have a legal right to have my bird with me at all times. And if you don't like it, you can kick rocks. I'm just going to call the police, ma'am. I'm sorry, but I really understand. You don't understand because if you did... I do understand, but I have, like, rules to follow here. I don't want to lose my job over a freaking bird. Well, the bird's life is more important than your job. You can find a new job, but I can't find a new bird or an emotional support animal that bonds with me like Birdman does. So I have no compassion or feelings towards your dilemma, but please. Please what? You're going to get me fired. I hate to call the police on Thanksgiving. All right, we're so busy today. And I'm so hungry. This is my holiday, and you're ruining it. How is that? How am I ruining your holiday? I'm at work on the holiday. You could have just ordered delivery or takeout. I wanted to dine in an experience with my bird. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. Here's your specialty turkey pizza. I hope that you enjoy. Thanks for ordering Pizza Hut. Oh, cute baby. Thank you. This is not my baby. I'm a babysitter. Oh, okay. Well, enjoy. Thank you so much. Would you like for me to take the pizza to your car since you're, like, yeah, holding a baby? Of course. Thank you so much, hon. Hold up, hold up. Did she just have a whole baby in here? A baby is a life form. This is speciesism, I think. I'm not really sure, but it's some type of discrimination. This is so not fair. Oh, no. I'm going to have to call the 7 o'clock news team so they can do a full report and investigation for me because I will not be treated like a secondhand citizen with Birdman. Birdman has his rights and so do I. Okay, this is so not fair. Excuse me, I need to see management. I need to see your manager, okay? Yeah, are you the manager? Call the manager, I need for him to come here to this restaurant and we need to square some things away right now this is unsatisfactory the way you're treating me i need my chair so i can eat my food because you just serve someone with a whole baby that baby is a life form just like my bird an innocent life form that's a baby a human being i don't care what you say we have our rights she is really going off about this baby, and we're going to get kicked out. So I need to call Vincent to tell him that we're not going to be here now. And I don't know if I'll be able to see him at all today. This completely stinks. Please tell your sister just to calm down, and we'll find another place to eat. Please tell her just to leave it alone. These employees are not having it today, and I don't want to get in trouble for eating here. I agree. We shouldn't even be here. But she's passionate about Birdman, so hmm, 
I don't know. Well, maybe we can go to a club or another restaurant. I don't know. I just want to eat. And this pizza is okay. It's kind of cold and old and dry. It's okay. I mean, I've had better. But we're just here to hang out with our boyfriends, right? Yeah, I can't wait to see Tyreek. He is so cute. I miss him so much. Oh my gosh, Eddie, this is your first date with him. Are you excited? Her first date with him? Oh, wow. I don't even remember my first date with my boyfriend. Hmm. I hope he shows up, though. He's been acting up lately. Excuse me, ladies. Is there a problem? I was called here for health code violations. My name is Officer Boyd. Is there someone that I could speak to about any issues with the health code violations? Me? Yes, there's a bird here. A bird? Yes, we asked him to leave with the bird. It's against the policy. Oh, I see. Okay, well, there's a bird. Yes, my bird. I have to have this bird. It is my emotional support animal or emotional support bird. His name is Birdman and he is my life. If he's not with me, I will have a panic attack and spaz out. I see. Do you have paperwork on that? Do you have a medical form from a doctor that declares that? Um, I have compassion and understanding for this type of situation, so I'd like to see um, proof that you have this condition, and we'll try to figure something out. No, I don't have the paperwork, because I don't feel it's necessary. Well, it is necessary for you to bring the paperwork, because if you don't, you're violating rules and policies within businesses. You have to be prepared for these things, young lady. There are policies that these businesses must go by. I understand, but it's just not fair. Life is not fair, and that's why I'm here. I'm here to enforce the rules that the businesses can't. This isn't fair. Like I said, life's not fair. You'll be fine. Just go home, get the papers, and we'll figure this out. Um, okay, I'll think about it. What do you mean? Just get the papers and come back. It's not hard. Do what you have to do and everything be okay. So, um, call me if you have any questions. I have a feeling that she's not coming back. But if she does, I'll gladly return and help you guys to fix the situation. Okay? I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving. Goodbye. Yes, um, so would you like a complimentary chicken pizza? Girl, don't play with me right now, okay? I don't want to hear anything from you guys. You're so rude. You will hear from my lawyer. All jokes aside, I'm sorry that you can't be here with a bird. It kind of stinks, though, and it's creepy, but I understand that you love the bird. Good luck to you and your bird. Be well. Hello? Hey, Vincent. It's me. Yeah, we're leaving Pizza Hut. We have to go. We are getting thrown out because of something. I'll talk to you about it later. But, um, could you just hold off on meeting up with me today? I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I just texted Tyreek. It seems like I'll never get to go out with him, ever. It's so not fair. Like, on Halloween, I was supposed to meet up with him earlier that day, but I couldn't because of Mommy, and now on Thanksgiving, we are not going to see each other because of a bird. Okay, you guys, it's time to go. I'm sorry that things didn't work out for you. Hopefully next time, everything will go smoothly. Um, I'm going to offer you a complimentary pizza for your next visit, since you had such a hard time today. Okay? Hope that makes everything better. Happy Thanksgiving! Oh, we're not paying for this pizza. Visit. What do you mean you're not paying for it? You need to pay your bill. 
or I have to call the cops again, okay? Just pay your bill, please. No, we're not paying the bill because we're getting kicked out, rudely. So, the complimentary pizzas are for today. Okay, whatever. I'm just so tired of dealing with you guys. It's so much drama. Just go and please have a great day. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Have a great Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoy your time with that bird. Thanks for choosing Pizza Hut where your order's always fresh. Okay, Jerry. I'm just gonna have a seat. Let's find a seat. Okay, honey. I already ate earlier. Okay, baby. I just want to have a few slices of pizza and talk to you. I missed you so much today. Well, that's nice to know. Hopefully, we can enjoy this time together. Oh my god, is that grandma? That's your grandma? Oh. Yes. What is she doing with Mr. Wagner? Oh, are they on a date? I think they are on a date. Oh, wow. She dating an old rich white man. Ooh, you go, Granny. No, she's not. She's not on a date. Granny. Hey, baby. Um, what are you doing here on Thanksgiving? Shouldn't you be with Grandpa? Uh, I already had my dinner with Grandpa. I'm just with a friend. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just friends, nothing else. We have a child together. Yeah, Uncle Alvin. We know you're just hanging out with Uncle Alvin's dad. You're probably talking about how Uncle Alvin acts crazy all the time, right? Uncle Alvin, he's cool. He's really different and cool, and you have a kid together, so I understand sometimes you want to talk about your kids together, so it's none of our business. We're just leaving anyways. We're here to pick up some breadsticks for Mom to go with the turkey that she might be cooking. I'm not sure if she's cooking, but we just wanted to get some food for Thanksgiving. Yeah, girl, we'll be waiting out in the car. All right, see you in a minute. Addie, you ready to go? I'm so excited, okay? We're just gonna leave right now? Not yet, we have problems in front of us. What are you talking about? The nanny. The nanny? Yeah, she's right here. Girls! What are you doing here? You need to come home. I have been trying to plan this dinner all week. It is time for you to come home and eat Thanksgiving dinner that I cooked for you and your mother. Okay? You are in such big trouble. What? We told you we were with our friends. We're just picking up some food for dinner. Um, who? Excuse me. Excuse me. Who, what's going on? Who is this? Who's yelling at my grandchildren? Oh, no. There will be none of this yelling at my grandchildren. This is not going to work. You done lost your ever-loving mind. Hold on, ma'am. I'll order in a minute, okay? Let me talk to th this young lady about her uh, attitude. I am their nanny, and they're coming with me. They are very mischievous, naughty young girls. They deserve to be in punishment for a long time. I will definitely take care of this by myself. I do not need you or anyone, anyone else's feedback, okay? I don't know who you are, but they are my responsibility. So please back off, old lady. You're fired. That's what you are. Excuse me, what are you talking about? I work for their mother. And I am their mother's mother. Oh, I'm very sorry. No apology needed or accepted, young lady. Okay. You are so disrespectful to your elders. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're so rude. I'm very sorry. You should be, as you should be. I just can't believe this. I'm I'm sorry. Yes, that's all you can say because you put your foot in your mouth and you don't know anything. Ooh, Granny. Yes, I am the Grandma. I'm so sorry. Girls, you're coming home with me, okay? You're going to spend the night with me and your cousins. 
okay? They're going to come home with me. I have Thanksgiving dinner already cooked, so they're going to eat some of that turkey I cooked earlier. Tell your friends that you're not going to leave with them. I'm truly disappointed in you, Mrs. Nanny, whoever you are. You need to go back to training wherever you came from. Just stay away from my grandchildren. Okay, I'll go. I will never see you guys again. This was horrible. You take care of your mother, but I'm sure you probably won't. Whatever, I don't care. Goodbye. Listen, girls, please understand that I'm just friends with Mr. Jerry here. And um, please don't tell your grandfather about our meeting here. It would hurt his heart. But I do share a child with Mr. Wagner, okay? So um, sometimes we just meet up and talk about that. It's nothing else. We're only friends. Please understand that I would never hurt Grandpa. I love him dearly, and we've been married for over 30 years. So, yes, it's just like a friendship that we have to kind of keep secretive because Grandpa, you know, he can't deal with this at this time in his life. So, um, yeah, just go run along and tell your little friends that you're going to go to my house and uh, we're going to have a good night and I'll take you home in the morning.